Welcome to another Mini World 3D video. I am Danny Sanchez and today I'm super excited for two reasons. Number one, we're going to be unboxing the Prusa MK4 that Prusa team has sent us. And number two, it's my birthday! I just returned from a trip in Japan that was extremely amazing. It was so inspiring and I can't wait to get this done so that I can design, print and publish new models from our trip in Japan that you're gonna love. I cannot continue before giving huge, huge thanks to the Prusa team for believing in us and a shout out to Eliu Marquez because now we can become education ambassadors and use Prusa products to continue with our mission of creating free models for everyone and content like this video and other educational videos for you. Without further ado, let's get to it. The first thing you will see as you open the box is a letter from the team, the USB flash drive, and the classic bag of gummies. There's also a 3D printing handbook, and a log with all the tests that were done. You'll see on the left the power cord, and then you have to remove this foam top. And you get to see the MK4 for the first time. On the right, it's a box with Prusament, and on the left, a box with accessories. These include cleaning supplies and lubricant, the spool holder, parts for the filament guide, tools, and the filament guide. This is what the MK4 looks like out of the box. You can see the test print on the bed and then some other protections. Here on the left you can see everything that comes with the MK4 and I've described all of them before. Up next is assembling the filament spool holder and the filament guide. It comes with some Teflon tubes that are fastened with bolts and nuts to squeeze them in place. It is then placed on the spool holder. Next. I removed the factory test print from the bed and insert the provided USB flash drive. Now it's time to turn on the MK4 for the first time. The user interface is very straightforward, very similar to other printers. You control it with the knob on the right. This MK4 was ready to go, but I wanted to go through the steps of calibration to make sure that nothing moved during shipping and also to show you how it's done. It will run some automated tests and then give you some prompts. The first one is to tap the nozzle. Don't worry, it's cold. In the display you can see the temperature. Tap. Successful test. Then there will be some tests of the X, Y and Z axis. When these tests are complete, we can proceed with filament loading. This is Galaxy Black Prusament that came with the printer. After following the instructions, you'll have to remove some of the filament and then load it again to calibrate the next extruder. I confirm that the new filament color has loaded and move forward. I used the provided alcohol wipe to clean the print bed because there was some residue from the box, like some cardboard fibers. With everything calibrated and clean, I started a job from the USB flash drive, the same keyring that was from the sample, and the print started. These next few clips are real-time printing, so you can see the speed from default. This is not the alpha input shaper. This is the normal firmware that came with the MK4 from the box. Yeah. 
the MK4 laid a perfect first layer and then start moving real quick to continue with the job. It was surprising to see such good quality with these speeds. I know that other printers can print this fast and even ones that I've had before, but not with this quality. Then it was just a matter of sitting back, relaxing and watching it do its magic. This print was completed in exactly 15 minutes, which is a lot faster than I would have done in an Ender 3, for example. I am amazed at the surface quality from both the front and the back. It was perfect. Thank you for following along. As you can see, this was a very easy process. And here I have the first print that I made with it and is incredible, never before have I really owned a printer that you get out of the box and then you have such a successful print and such a perfect first layer, just like that. It's unbelievable. I have used many, many printers before and this is the first time that it actually happens. I am so happy. Truly, thank you to the Prusa team for this. This is a game changer. The confidence that you have put in me and the Mirror World project for this is unexplainable. Thank you so much. We can't wait to use it to create new models uh, to print better versions of models that we already have and share all of it with you. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs>